deadly. <laughs> Walt was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes over 10 years ago, and since then um, has learned a great deal about the disease. Today, he will share with you some facts about diabetes as well as some preventative measures you can take to greatly reduce your risk. Please help me welcome Walt. Thank you. It's good to be here today to share with you some facts about diabetes. As mentioned, I was diagnosed with diabetes over 10 years ago. Today, I would like to begin by asking you a question. Do you know what your risk factor is for diabetes? Do you know what your risk factor is for diabetes? So to start out, I'd like to share some facts and figures. First of all, diabetes is talked about most commonly as type 1 and type 2 diabetes. Used to be known as juvenile and adult onset diabetes. But because of so many children developing diabetes before they're adults, they've changed the names, respectively, to type 1 for juvenile, type 2 for adult onset. So if you've heard those terms in the past, it's now type 1 and type 2. Most of the diabetics in the world are type 2. Most cases of diabetes are type 2 diabetes. Type 1 means that you are dependent upon insulin to be pumped into your body, usually manually with a syringe, or there are fancy pumps that you can buy and wear that look much like a phone or a pager and they're hooked into your abdomen and they feed the insulin into your body for you. That's type 1 diabetes, typically. That's how it's described. Type 2 is different. Your body makes insulin, but it will not receive the insulin into the muscles, into the tissue of your body. So glucose, which is the fuel of the human body, does not get properly processed. Too much glucose in the blood leads to serious health ramifications. That's just a very brief, short definition of what diabetes is and how it affects the human body. So I'd like to share with you some facts about diabetes and some figures here that I've sourced from the International Diabetes Federation. First of all, these statistics are from 2007. The five countries with the largest numbers of people with diabetes are India at over 40 million, China at over 39 million, the United States at over 20 million, Russia at over 9 million, and Germany at over 7 million people. Diabetes statistics are increasing every year without fail. They just continue to rise. Diabetes currently affects over 250 million people globally. So worldwide, a quarter of a billion people are affected by diabetes. Quite shocking. Each year, a further 7 million people develop diabetes. Think of it this way. Every 10 seconds, someone dies from a diabetes-related issue. And in that same 10 seconds, two more people develop diabetes. So as you can see, it's a serious, serious epidemic. So in the United States, I thought this was interesting too, 50% of all the people with diabetes don't know it yet. And in some countries, that figure is as high as 80%. And in the United States, of the over 20 million people, 200,000 of them are children. So again, the epidemic is growing and it's spreading. So what are some of the symptoms of diabetes? There are many symptoms that you can be aware of that will help you understand uh, whether you are developing diabetes in your own life. One of them is extreme thirst, extreme hunger is another, frequent urination, soreness or bruises that heal slowly, dry, itchy skin, blurry vision that can change from day to day, unexplained weight loss, unusual tiredness or drowsiness, frequent or recurring skin, gum, bladder, or vaginal yeast infections. So those are a lot of different things that you may notice that you could take note of in yourself to determine whether you may be developing diabetes in yourself. 
I know when I found out I had diabetes, I was shocked. I had many of these symptoms, um, frequent urination, extreme thirst. I was getting up at, before I, right before I was diagnosed up to five or six times a night and was just incredibly thirsty. I mean, I would just literally get under the faucet and just drink water. I mean, just lots of it. And then I'd go lay back down and go to bed and then I'd wake up an hour or two later and I'd have to go to the bathroom again. And on and on it went. The symptoms are bad enough, but the complications Diabetes causes major complications in the human body if left unchecked. So it's a very, very serious thing. Some of the complications are heart and blood vessel disease. A diabetic has got a two to four times higher chance of dying of coronary or blood vessel disease. Very, very serious. Blindness is another frequent thing that happens to people with diabetes. Kidney failure foot ulcers, loss of feeling in the extremities, and then eventually amputations, things that have to be removed because they no longer circulate blood. And that happens from the over, uh, from the uh, high amounts of glucose that tend to eventually, for lack of a better term, plug the very fine little veins and uh, capillaries in your body. So the complications are major and they're serious, and the list goes on. Uh, just think of your body as a network of blood vessels and in the extremities they're the finest and they're the furthest away from your heart. So that's why we have complications starting in the extremities. So the cost for not dealing with this disease is way too high. So how do we reduce our risk? Well, what can I do? Well, I've got some good news for you. You can do a lot. And whether you're diabetic or not, you have choices in how you deal with this disease. Number one, if you don't have diabetes, most likely you can choose to avoid it. Now that's great news when it comes to disease, that I can choose to avoid it. And the reason is, is because 80% of type two diabetes can be avoided by a proper healthy lifestyle and diet. So that's really great news. Um, and getting checkups, getting yourself checked up, going to the doctor on a regular basis, getting a physical and getting checked. Um, if you already have it like me, it's again, regular checkups. It's monitoring and maintaining and using the tools that are available to you. There are many medications for diabetes and many alternative treatments. In conclusion today, this is just bent to be a good overview just to kind of share with you some of the basics about diabetes. But I would like to leave one parting thought with you. With regard to your health, remember this. Once it's gone, you can't buy it back. But you can invest in it now to help preserve it for the future. Thank you.